Understanding Disease Origin, an English Language Guide. Hello, and welcome to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and highly relevant topic, disease origin. This phrase has become particularly significant in our global conversations. So, let's dive in and understand what it means, its context, and how to use it in your conversations. Disease origin is made up of two words, disease and origin. A disease refers to any condition that disrupts the normal functioning of the body or mind. It can be caused by factors like viruses, bacteria, genetic disorders, or even lifestyle choices. The word origin relates to the beginning or source of something. So, when we talk about the origin of a disease, we are discussing where and how a disease began or was first identified. The concept of disease origin has been crucial throughout history, helping medical professionals and researchers understand how diseases spread and how to control them. It's a term often used in medical studies, health news, and during health crises, like the COVID-19 pandemic. Understanding a disease's origin can lead to effective treatments and prevention strategies. To help you grasp this phrase better, let's look at some examples. 1. Researchers are studying the disease origin to develop a vaccine. 2. Knowing the origin of the disease helped contain its spread. 3. There are many theories about the origin of this disease, but nothing is confirmed yet. It's important to use the term disease origin carefully, especially in today's global context. Sometimes, identifying a disease's origin can lead to unfounded biases and stigma against certain places or people. Always ensure that your usage of the term is based on scientific facts and sensitivity towards others. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase disease origin and its importance in both medical and everyday contexts. Remember, language is a powerful tool, and using it correctly can help us better understand and navigate the world around us. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.